Hi everyone, I'm Steve here with Brian Sanchez. Brian is a personal trainer at Fitness for 10 in Carson City. Thanks for being here, Brian. Thanks, Steve. Glad to be here and ready to talk some good stuff with everybody. Yeah, we're going to talk about supplements. And again, as you see in the title, we're going to pick top five. And we're going to kind of gear this to older, you know, over 40, over 50, yes. over 60. Um, and if you guys have watched me do this before, you know I'm a supplement guy. <clears throat> I try to keep it natural. Um, even my supplements uh, stay away from the synthetic. But I can't pick five. But I'm, I'm going to just name five and why I take them and what has happened to my blood work, my blood pressure, and so on at my age, in my 60s, 62 at the time of this recording. We're both on TRT. If you guys want to know more about TRT, uh, you can call Royal Medical. There's a description in, uh, or there's a link in the description um, and a contact to call, and you will get a, like a $45 um, rebate per month. And uh, it, it's a great price. But anyway, I don't want to go on on, on on that too much. But if you're interested, they have doctors there that can talk to you and do consultations for you, and you can find out more. Uh, Brian and I both use them. And so we've both cleaned up our bodies with some supplements and cleaning up our diet. Uh, so if we're going to pick the top five, like I said, I could pick maybe 10 that I just have to take, and maybe I'll do some honorable mentions. But let's start with you, Brian. And for me, these are in no order. Give me your first supplement that you would take if, you know, just one of your first picks out of the five. What's your first one? We'll do it again in no order. And let me clarify, just like Steve said, I take way more than what I'm going to talk about. But to me, these are must-haves. These are some of the ones that I have received tremendous benefits in my physicals. And, in fact, I might add a little information today because I just got my results back from my yearly, which blew me away. And there's certain supplements that I added to this last year that I think helped that. With that said, hey, everybody, if you've been listening to us, you know exactly where I'm going. Ain't nothing better than testosterone. And here's why. Look, now I say in some of our videos, we've had to clarify some of the things we talk about because I, I kind of, I don't put testosterone into a, you know, I'm going to be a bodybuilder. It's going to change my body. I'm going to put 400 pounds on it like I'm taking a steroid regimen. But I do think it is appropriate for me to suggest that testosterone does enhance the body. So I'm not natty in that sense, if you will. Um, but it's not a product that is designed in the way we use it, Steve and I use it, to make us these big, huge professional bodybuilders. That's not what we're using it for. So those of you who are against it, please look at it. Don't worry about what you read in the 1990s. It was getting abused. We know more. Testosterone, what it's done for me, absolute mental clarity, hands down. Uh, if you looked at when we did the reviews from back in the day, uh, two years ago, if we will, it was the first thing I ever noticed when I started taking testosterone. I was on a couple of different things for anxiety and depression, and uh, testosterone took care of everything. Now, mind you, when I quit my career, I was coming out of a career uh, about 10 years ago, and I was on several medications. I don't have to take anything anymore, and that's why I'm picking the ones that I'm picking today. Testosterone gives me better clarity. I think my heart health is better. My blood lipid panels are way better than what they used to be. Um, plus, energy-wise, I feel good. As a, um, uh, uh, as a husband, it helps in the world of libido. Uh, you know, I mean, guys are really proud sometimes and they don't like to talk about that. Hey, man, we just can't go as long as we used to. But I'm going to tell you, when you're on a small dose of testosterone, it really, really helps. Um, so there's so many good benefits. The other thing testosterone did. Now, mind you, I want you to think about this. I was a power lifter and it was nothing for me to be in the 300, 305 pound range. 
I'm on testosterone and I haven't done a lot of adjustments necessarily to my overall eating. I still eat quite a bit, but I've been able to, to take off at a minimum three inches off my waistline using testosterone. And uh, I eat a lot still. I don't power lift like I used to, but I eat a lot still. And uh, I have maintained uh, my weight around 280 pounds, which is, which is anywhere from 15 to, to uh, 20 pounds lighter than what I was since I've been on it. And it's nothing that is hurting me. Now, with caution, it's not for everyone. You have got to use professionals doing it. Don't buy this from Joey to Fish at the back of the gym and buy stuff in the locker room. You've got to go to professionals, get prescriptions. This is these doctors will help you. Royal Medical is good at this. I trust them. And even the local guy that I use, Dr. Gunnarsson in Reno, I trust them. These guys know what they're doing. Testosterone is my absolute favorite right now, Steve. Okay, well, there's there's a couple given. I took I've that already, from you. I've already said I'm on TRT. And, yes, we've both said we're enhanced. People are going, well, you're enhanced. Of course we're enhanced. In so many ways because of the testosterone, but our health is enhanced. So I'm glad you yes. made that point. Yes. Okay, here's my first one. And again, I'm going to name some things that are obvious for me, but just some ones that, and just point out why they're beneficial at my age. Okay, this is NAD. And it is, I take it with an insulin needle. This is what it looks like. This I get from Invigor Medical. Uh, use the uh, promo code Vitality1 at Invigor Medical. The link is also below. And Brian, you, you can also kind of vouch for this stuff is mind-blowing. Cognitive improvement, energy through the roof. It took me about two weeks, and I told my wife, I go, babe, man, I gotta, I'm going down to the park to run wind sprints. And you were laughing. I After was. You tried it. You go, oh, okay, I, I see. I don't go in the closet or go into the bedroom to get something and forget why I went back there anymore. And the stuff is absolutely amazing. What it does for your mitochondria, increasing mitochondria, increasing your energy. I, I mean, everyone's going to be different. And, of course, you guys know what we're telling you right now is our opinions. So you got to do your own research on this and see if this is right for you. So there's my first one, NAD. And, and let's, let's clarify that too, Steve. We're talking about our opinions, but it's based on the studies we're doing on our own bodies. And Correct. this is really important when I say this, because my next one, and you might, you might see a couple of these that we talk about here and there when we bring it up, but I am so excited because I introduced it in the fall, or not the fall, late spring or early spring, late winter, cayenne pepper, ground cayenne pepper. Now, I don't take the capsules. I take uh, a scoop of it every morning. What I was having was, because I do take testosterone, my blood levels were a little bit thicker. And so my, my hemoglobin was a lot higher. And I was thinking, well, I don't want to go on meds or anything like that. I don't want to come off testosterone. So I went to some people that understood I probably could have just asked Steve because he was all over it. He thought I was crazy that I didn't know about it. But um, one of the people that I that I uh, seek professional help from, uh, my massage therapist, is also into these types of, of healing properties. So anyways, cayenne pepper, overall health, heart health, which I'm going to specifically name a couple things, digestive health, which is huge, keeping the body cleansed, cayenne pepper. Thermogenic, burning more calories, helps maintain the weight loss. I had a buddy that I, that I asked to try it, and he called me, and he says, I haven't even had to drink coffee today. Is this the way I'm supposed to feel? He goes, kind of like Steve says about NAD. He had so much energy after trying cayenne pepper. He took a scoop, not as much as I took, but he took a scoop, put it in his stuff, and, and, and consumed it. And I used an organic ground cayenne pepper. Um and he felt the energy right away. But here's why I believe it's so absolutely important. My uh, hemoglobin, which, which I think is, is important to know when you're on testosterone, was elevated. And so I, I do um, blood donations to help with that as well. Um, 
but I went down four points or almost four points, three and a half points into the mid normal ranges just by adding cayenne pepper. My, um, in January, my cholesterol was one around, right around uh, 190, which was really good for me because I was notorious around the 200 or higher zone uh, because of some of the choices I've made in life, if you will. It's now in the 160s. My triglycerides were in the 170s, 180s. They're now in the 130s. Now, some of you are going, well, I'm better. Hey, great. I understand that. But I'm telling you, this is the only thing I added to the regiment, cayenne. And I'm getting these kind of results. My blood sugar generally floated low to mid-90s. I'm now in the 80s. This is something I didn't expect to be this effective, but it's now reached into my top five cayenne pepper ground. You got to give it a run. Steve, what's yours? You know, everyone's different, but I'm glad you made this point. We're doing these, uh, these experiments on our own bodies. Yes. I get my blood work at least every three months, every quarter, at least, right. and sometimes more. And why am I doing that? I want to see what these supplements are doing to my blood work. I want to see how it's affecting my body. So th this all relates to us. Are you going to get the same, you listeners, are you going to get the same benefit as Brian gets from cayenne pepper? I don't know. I hope but, you do. Yeah, your body's really responded to it. So that's what we're doing. We're, we're testing things on ourselves. All right. So the next one I'm going to go with, and I also take that, but, you know, I'm kind of cheating by throwing, you know, in something that you mentioned and say, yeah, I take that, but that's not my pick. So uh, next one, I'm going to go with taurine. Ah. And this stuff is also amazing. Uh, before a workout, after a workout, I take about, Oh, uh, um, three to five grams a day. And let me plug the amino acids, essential amino acids. I pound them at least three times a day. That's not one, but I'm kind of cheating again by including it here. But this I've noticed my eyesight has improved. Um, uh, your, bowel movements, everything improves with this, your workouts, everything. This is phenomenal. And a lot of guys go do your own research on this, do your own research on taurine and see, cause there's some recent studies on this that are pretty amazing. So, uh, that's going to be the second one that I'm going to shout out taurine. Okay, Brian, how about three for you? Okay. I'm going to go with one that is a little bit newer as well. But it goes along with, I'm making notes too, my apologies. It goes along with um, the cayenne. Uh, I don't think, hey, if we're over 50, um, I know Steve looks 25, but we're, we're, not, we're not spring chickens here. And we're putting these things into our body and we're seeing what's happening. We're getting absolutely beautiful results. Next one. Tamaric. You are beautiful. Ah, thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. I'm not as hot as you, but, you know, on the hotness scale, I just want to try to stay close to you. All that cayenne pepper, you're pretty hot. I am. You know, that's what we do. That's what we do. We take that pepper, we stay hot. Um, turmeric, again, what I'm doing is I'm hoping that the use of cayenne and the use of turmeric, this is going to go into more of. Now, being a heavier guy, pounding my body, because as a power lifter, I didn't really, in my early days of weightlifting, it just goes back to, you know, the 1980s, I didn't always do the right thing lifting weights. It took a while before I truly figured out how to do all this stuff properly. But, um, so I've got, I've got sore, sore joints. I have things that won't go away when it comes to the pain side, but I'm absolutely convinced that turmeric is good for joint health. 100% convinced on that. Um, also, turmeric is a product that, again, will help with our, our heart, and it, again, will help with um, our digestion. This is big for me because everything I put into my body, I want to make sure it comes out. So I think cayenne and turmeric kind of go hand in hand, but I think turmeric is going to give the push and why you got to add it to supplement with the cayenne, but with that joint health. I think it's paramount 
All right, we're on three, right? I'm going to go with niacin. So simple. But this and niacin, it's not nicotinamide. It's the niacin. And I've worked up to three grams. Niacin is the one that's going to give you a flush, almost make you red blotchy. That's an indication that you have inflammation. And the turmeric that you just mentioned, that will also help reduce the inflammation. That's why it helps with the joints, supposedly. Please do your own research. But niacin, what's happened to my blood work is my cholesterol is improved. My blood pressure is improved. Um, Almost everything, as far as my blood work, has improved. Blood pressure, cholesterol, big time. Niacin is, do some research on it. And you keep taking it. Usually, I'll take 500 uh, milligrams in the morning, and that's when I get a slight flush. But after that, the rest of the day, when I take it, you know, four or five more times, I don't get the flush. And so I think that's an indication that when that flush starts to go away, that you're getting rid of the inflammation. And what does that do? Obviously, that's going to lower your blood pressure. So niacin is uh, my number three. Go do your own research on these things, everybody, um, and and learn about them. You you got to educate yourself. You can talk to your doctor. But niacin, number three. How about four for you? Let's throw in vitamin D. Again, I'm looking for vitamin D to me is the transporter. It is the guy that makes everything blend well together in the body to include joints. Um, A lot of us don't realize, and you have to get this tested. If you aren't going to your regular physicals, especially as we get older, everybody, go get to your general practitioner and start your physicals and get your bloods run. Look at where your levels are. I'm in the sun all the time. Uh, because I I, I, I I have another uh, position in another area that I'm outside quite a bit. And uh, you would think that because I'm outside quite a bit and I'm the king of, of big sun hats and things like that, that my vitamin D would be through the roof, but that's not the case. So I take a vitamin D supplement. I don't take a lot of it because I think that, uh, too much is not a good thing. That's just what I believe based on what I've read. But I take a dose of vitamin D daily, and I think we all need it to help support all the functions within our body. You know, you mentioned something else, too. When we're talking about these um, products and what they're doing for our bodies, Steve mentioned blood pressure. I think it's really important to know. Um, 10, 15 years ago, I was high blood pressure. Um, And uh, I was on high blood pressure medicines. And uh, based on what the changes we've made and I've made and these supplements that we're taking that help our body, and obviously I train all the time, but I'm still a big dude. But my blood pressure at my physical just the other day was 122 over 70. There's lots of people that have it better, but when you're looking at this, everyone, if you see somebody or if you're somebody that looks like me and is built like a square, This stuff works. These supplements work. They're heart healthy. They're joint healthy. They're digestive healthy. They help your thinking, your memory. Give them a run, Steve. Yeah, isn't there a cartoon, you know, Square Head or whatever his name is? Yeah, I I don't know. (laughs) I'm not a cartoon watcher, but uh, anyway. You notice Uh, I didn't say round? Yeah. yeah, Because because I'd have to cancel you, Steve, if you called me round. Uh Uh-oh. All right, I'll, I will never do that. Look, yeah. that's a given to me. I am not mentioning vitamin D, but I'm glad you brought that up because if you see all the other top five supplements, vitamin D is always on my list. I take all the fat soluble vitamins, very important. You know, again, I'm cheating. I take zinc um, and magnesium. How can you leave magnesium off? You know, so. I, like I said, I'm kind of throwing a few in there that I obviously take. I told you I couldn't keep it to five. <laughs> but, um, yeah, magnesium, huge. And, you know, all the supportive stuff around that and vitamin, all the fat-soluble vitamins. And you can take too much because they're fat-soluble. So um, this one, again, I'm because I'm, I'm trying to really em- emphasize, and we talked about, you know, stuff that's good for over 50. 
Dihydroberberin. I take two brands. This comes from a natural source. Um, Dihydroberberin is more potent than the berberin. And the studies I've read and the videos and stuff I've looked at, listened to from doctors, it's more potent than berberin. Dihydroberberin. What does it do? What has it done for my blood work? It'll drop your glucose. It will help, I mean, really stabilize your glucose. It's, it, it's almost like a lot of people think it's metformin on steroids, which is a, a medication. And you got to go again, do your own research. Um, but this stuff is amazing. I take it, if, if I'm going to have a, a meal that has some carbs in it, I'll take it a, l- a little before, a little after. If I go out Friday night and I, maybe I know I'm going to have a couple beers. I know Brian doesn't drink at all, but maybe I'm going to have a couple cocktails or something. I'll take it before and I'll take it after to help drop and stabilize my glucose. So dihydroberberin, it does a lot of great stuff. Um, it will help uh, clean up your liver. You go do some research on it. You'll be amazed. All right, number five, Brian. Okay, this one's boring and it's not sexy. But if you're not doing this, all of us as we get older, because you know we 100% preach strength conditioning. I'm not talking powerlifting. Strength conditioning. You cannot, I should say, you should always have protein supplementation. Protein Protein, protein. You got to do it. Protein is what's going to help you in your overall strength and conditioning. And it's going to support the muscle, the muscle growth, the healing process. I take it before, after workouts. I take it during middays. I take it afternoons. I take it in the evenings. Take it and take plenty of it. Get on your body, get on your scale, take your body weight, convert your body weight into grams, maybe drop it 20% down, and that's how much you want to start trying. Steve? All right, my last one. It's boring. I know it's boring, but. Yeah, the protein powder, again, is a no-brainer given, just like for that and amino acids for me, you know, yes. essential amino acids. So um, R, I want to come up with some things that, like, maybe you haven't heard of. R, alpha lipoic acid. Make sure you get the R form. If it doesn't say R ALA or R alpha lipoic acid, it's the S form. So make sure it says R. It's just more potent. What does it do? With the combination of these things, I've cut my liver enzymes in half. They're at a very healthy range. Um, cut them in half with some of these supplements. And um, alpha lipoic acid, you can also you get it in an IV. But the thing that I like about this is, is orally, it's, you need to take it on an empty stomach, but it's equally as effective orally on an empty stomach is what I've read and researched as it is doing an IV right into your vein. So that's really going to help clean up your liver. It's amazing. Um, again, talk to your doctor, do your own research. But that's five for me. That's five for us. Again, you guys have watched the channel, like the protein shakes. Look, I've done videos on my protein shake and what I put in it. So obviously I I do that. Um, But I just wanted to mention these five for me, that they've improved my blood work. They've They've been noticeable for me. So, of course, I take the other things and you watch my channel. You guys know what I take, and I try to stay away from synthetic uh, vitamins and minerals, but um, that's me. And now you know that Brian, the five that Brian would has picked, and these are things that have been effective for us because we're monitoring our blood work all the time, and we're seeing yes. it improve. Yeah. So... That's what we're relating to. Is it going to work for you? Hopefully. Um, But everyone's different. I I mean, I'm repeating that all the time on on my channels. 
everyone's different and, and you got to go find out and you got to sometimes pay the money to get your blood work and certain things that you're testing. But we could talk about how TRT's improved our blood work and, you know, all the different things and all the supplements that we take with it and all the things that we do. But this video is getting a little long. So it is getting long. But like Steve's saying, everybody, don't forget your probiotics, your multivitamins, your fibers. There's so many things we haven't talked about. Get your bloods drawn and base out your vitamins off of it. Talk to your doctors, everyone. Yeah, and, and your diet. All right, Brian, thanks for being with us. We'll talk to you next time. See you, everybody.